And today, two manufacturers say their products are in that picture and they are preparing a civil lawsuit. ABC 4's Jason Wynn has been following the story and joins us live from the state capitol tonight. Jason. Emily, those two manufacturers issued this two-page document to Representative Paul Ray. In it, it states, make a retraction or prepare for a defamation lawsuit against him and the state of Utah. Representative Paul Ray says he had beech tree diagnostics, buy and test vape juice in the Salt Lake Valley, and came up with this. Out of the 12 bottles, 10 tested positive for opioids, PCP, barbiturates, and THC. Beach Trees president told ABC4 News the tests are only 40% accurate, something Representative Ray knew about and acknowledged in the press conference. I mean, this story went viral. Gregory Troutman is an attorney for Savior Vape and Streamline Vape. Both companies had their e-liquids featured on the 9-11 press conference. They were able to look at the pictures and the, and the story that was on the, on the TV news and they could identify their products. And they were none too happy with being accused of selling e-liquids, which essentially are, are drugs. Troutman says his clients are registered with the FDA and list all ingredients on product labels. As we put the representative Ray on notice and, and we simply ask, do a retraction, a public retraction. The lawyer says his clients would like Representative Ray to do it publicly at the Capitol, and if he doesn't, he may be facing a lawsuit very soon. It would be a civil lawsuit essentially for defamation. Now I reached out to Representative Paul Ray and asked him about the two letters, but he has not called me back yet. I'm Jason Wynn, live at the Capitol, ABC4 News.